Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. So today we are going to be doing a timeless read for you. Hopefully you guys are doing okay. Um, my name is Callie, but you already know. Um, so let's just get into the reading. So for the first card that I pulled, because I pulled three cards for you before I started this reading so I can get the overall energy of what's going on for you guys. Um, so the first card that I pulled for you was the Hangman. So I feel like there's a lot of... Um, this could be a little bit stagnant for you right now. I don't feel like there's much going on for you guys. Um, you guys could also be like, you know, you could, this could be a mental thing as well. Like you could be like mentally stagnant. Like you could be dealing with, you know, You could, you could mentally be feeling like, you know, you don't know what you want to do in life or, you know, you don't know how to like, I don't know. I'm just seeing a lot going on in your mind. Your mind could be cloudy. Like there could be a lot of racing thoughts. You guys could be having a lot of racing thoughts, uh, racing thoughts. You could be overthinking a lot currently, but overall, I'm getting that's the overall energy for most of you guys right now. Like, you guys are just in this stagnant energy. Like, nothing is really going on um, for you guys. Majority majority, majority of you, there, there could be just this stagnant energy. Like, there's nothing really much going on for you guys. But overall, um, let's get into the second card that I pulled, which is the Knight of Swords. Um, there could be someone coming in. Um, they could be coming in fast. Um, they could be wanting some type of information from you. I'm not sure what it is. Um, or someone could be coming in telling you some information, you know, um, telling you some type of gossip. Um, I'm seeing something about Facebook. I don't know why, but I'm hearing Facebook. So someone could be contact, could, someone could be trying to contact you through Facebook or someone could be leaving messages for you. On your Facebook so if you haven't been on Facebook for a while check your Facebook that's just for someone in particular so there could be someone here that's like leaving messages this could be I don't know this this could be someone that's obsessed with you that's what I'm hearing this could be someone who's like literally obsessed with you like this could be an ex that that you could this could be an ex that was like obsessed with you texting you I'm seeing that they're leaving you a bunch of messages. This could either be on Facebook or Instagram. So check those two. If you have those two socials, check those socials socials because this person is just leaving you a bunch of messages. I'm seeing someone leaving someone a bunch of messages and you not responding at all. So yeah, and then the third card, it makes sense. Like the third card that I pulled for you was the four, four, um, four of wands. So... I'm basically seeing like someone coming in this could be an ex or someone someone from the past and i'm seeing them leaving you a bunch of messages but i'm seeing you leaving them on red <laughs> i've seen you completely ignoring this person um they could want to rekindle because we do have the four four of pentacles i mean not the four of pentacles but the four of wands they could want to rekindle with you but i feel like that's being blocked and that's being blocked by you because i don't feel like it's this relationship or this person fulfills you in a way let's see let's pull like two more cards let's pull two more cards yeah we have the nine of swords in reverse you're protecting your peace i feel like in and i feel like upright this person when you deal with this person this person is nothing but chaos like this person this person is like a demon. Like, I feel like this person is like the demon in your life. Like, this, when this person comes around you, like, you become stressed, anxious. You become depressed. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, like, this person is like a narcissist. Like, they're, they're a narc. I feel like you're dealing with a narcissist. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. That was the second card that I pulled for you. So, yeah, I feel like... This, I, I don't know for, but for, I don't know why, but for some of you, this could be, this could be a family member. This could definitely be a family member because the Ten of Pentacles is also a, a card of family. Well, I see it as a card of family, but, um, 
yeah I, I feel like for some of you guys it could be a family member like a toxic family member that just they feel like they can control you but they can't they can't anymore don't let this person control you either okay <laughs> Yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles in upright on the bottom of the deck. I do see money coming in for you guys. I do see you guys moving away from this situation. I do see... I do see you coming in alignment with... with the divine. I don't know why. That was just random. But I do see you... Um, <laughs> I do see... I feel like the divine has something in store for you. I feel like that's a better way to put it. I feel like the divine has something in store for you here. So be on the lookout. Um, it, be on the lookout for... I feel like they're going to send you signs. They're going to send you signs. It could be in the form of a bird. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why. It's just... I don't know. There, there was a bird on that on that nine of pentacles i mean yeah on that nine of pentacles card let me try to pull that back out hold on i think i lost it yeah there was a bird there was a bird on that card and i kept looking at it what i kept looking at it through the through the screen that i'm i'm recording on here but the universe could be sending you messages about this um this blessing that you're about to receive here so just be on the lookout here for it pay attention to your dreams i feel like the i feel like the universe i feel like you and the universe i feel like the universe likes to communicate to you in your dream in your dream state especially so if you have a dream and it's very like, you know, very vivid, like this card here, the sun, if it's very like, if the dream, if the dream seems to be too, too real, pay attention to it. Cause it could be a sign or an indicator of what's about to come for you. So yeah, Libra, I'm going to leave the reading there for you guys. Hopefully you, guys could, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading and I'll see you guys in the next video.